What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm with Matt again and we are going to be fishing for largemouth on beds in some crystal clear water. This water, I think, I'd say it's about 15 feet of visibility, maybe 10. Uh, we're going to be looking for some nice largemouth on beds right now. We have one in front of us. That's, the female is probably about three and a half pounds and the male is like one and a half. We're just going to go out throughout the lake and look for beds and just bring you guys with us and get some sick underwater footage hopefully we're gonna get to fishing and hopefully we can catch this bass right here because he is on the bed right now actually hey guys so I'm gonna be voicing over this video right now and I'm just gonna explain what the bass is doing and how we're going about trying to catch this fish so as you can see we are using a 4.75 inch rage swimmer on a football head jig and this bass is actually pretty locked on as you can see um, he's kind of a little bit scared of this bait every time we cast to kind of the back of his body he um, swims off the bed but he does come back pretty quick and that's how you know that the fish is locked on because he's coming back I mean you could go up to him I put the GoPro on his bed and he came back he's pretty locked on and you can see there this fish actually attacked that bait let's take a quick replay of that it's so cool so that swim bait is coming straight at his head and that's when he attacked it and the technique we're using right now is we're pretty much we're casting as fast as possible flipping it back in over and over and over and you notice this fish he nose down on it right there but he turned right away a lot of the time these fish when they turn right away on that bait it means they're getting more see how he turned boom right away that means they're getting more irritated and more irritated right when that bait is going directly at his face that's when he absolutely hated it I mean, he was going at his tail, right, his tail right there, and he didn't even care. He just kind of watched it go off. But when that bait goes directly at his head, that's when he hates it. Even right there, when there was a weed on it, he knew it was coming straight at his head, and he decided he wanted to attack it. There is many other ways you can fish for bed fish, obviously. This is just one tactic that we like to use. A lot of people like to use a drop shot. See, so have his nose down on it right there. A lot of people like to use a drop shot, just a small imitation bait of a little minnow. And usually it's just a, such a small meal, they'll slurp it in right away. But see how he's spinning on that bait really quick. We're getting him more and more irritated every time we do this. There we go. We finally got him. So what we did for that, we kind of switched up the size of the swim bait. It was kind of hard to tell in the video, but... We switch it down to about a 3 inch swim bait instead of the 4.75 and right when we were bringing it out of his face that's when he decided to attack it. There he is. You got him. Oh, oh he came I'm off. <laughs> All right, well. But at least you guys saw what we were trying to do the whole time there. And we got that all in the video so you could see exactly what we were trying to do. Alright, so guys, we've been using the, the swim bait a lot on that football head. Now we got the hula grub that's on the football head, and I think it's going to work pretty well. We rolled up on these bass. They're not too big, but they're really locked on. So we're just going to try to catch them real quick. Alright, guys, as you can see, we have about a one and a half pound bass here. And I actually switched up the bait to a hula grub on a football head my first time using this and this is probably the most locked in fish that I've ever seen on a bed. We were about a foot above him and he was not moving at all. As you can see there that fish just attacked that bait falling right in front of its face. This is kind of like the same thing that happened with the last fish. If that bait went in front of its face or was about to hit its head he would attack it. But if it went anywhere else around his body usually he wouldn't bite it. And there we go, we just hooked him there, and but he came off real quick and he's already back on the bed. Let's get a quick replay of that. And already the next cast in, he is already interested in. He's already making sure it swims off his bed, making sure he's going nose down on it, still very feisty. Right there, just went over his back, and like I said, if it doesn't hit their head, they don't mind really. He's about to hit his head and he went nose down on it again. He kind of turned off to the side, which is kind of cool. He's just kind of thinking, 
get this thing out from the bed. Shigeru's mouth is like half open, and he's not really want, wanting to eat it, he just wants it off his bed. He's just looking at it. So on this cast, he's just looking at it. He didn't even care that it was on his bed really until here. And right there, that's when we caught him. But sadly, we snagged him. It happens every now and then. All we saw from the top of the water was him open his mouth. Just, we thought he ate it, but um, he just turned on it. And that's when I set the hook straight into his side, sadly. There we go. Oh, dang it. Let's get him in. So we accidentally snagged him. I thought he came down on it, but he just rolled on it like that. Sometimes it'll happen, especially when you're using these really sharp hooks. Like every time I even touch this hook, see he just like rolled on it. You'll be able to see it more on the video. Just a small little guy, but that should be that should be some cool footage for you guys. Pretty clear water right there. So we're gonna let him go. I bet he'll go straight back to the bed. Look at that. All right guys, so we are done for today. Sorry if there's like water on the thing. If I wipe it off with my sweatshirt, it's gonna get worse. But um, we tried to get one more fish on a bit over here. It seemed like it was probably three and a half, four. And uh, the wind just came in. You can probably see it, hear it, I don't know. But we had a pretty good day today, I'd say. This was my first time bed fishing this year. So you guys are gonna see a lot more bed fishing videos. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hope I hope some of these tips helped you out. And comment below what your favorite bed bait to use is for bass. We're about to head out, so I will see you guys in the next video.